Legendary items are one of the best things EHG has ever created. I've spent the last month working towards testing the new system, seeing how much power they add to the normal game, and so far they have brought the low ceiling of builds much higher than it has been since the game went into open beta. This video, I want to talk about them more, and their implications of the future of the game, and of course showcase some of the insane gear I've made since then. Hello, this is Dread from Epic Builds, and if you don't know who I am, I am currently focused on making a lot of build guides for Last Epoch, and of course I also stream the game, which link in the description. So if you're looking for inspiration for your next play session, or looking for general build advice, you are in the right place. If you end up enjoying the video, I'd consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel, as this is one of the best places to find Last Epoch content. So my first few forays into the legendary system were brief at the beginning of the patch, and it took a while to start making these awesome items. After living and breathing the game for the last month and a half, I have collected a large hoard of legendary potential items, including but not limited to two 3LP Bleeding Hearts, one 3LP Soulfire, one 3LP Stormclaws, and a lot of 1LP Gambles and Movement Speed Boots. These were all fun to work on, but it's what builds they've enabled or empowered that is the most important and fun to talk about. I'm going to go through a few of these items I've made so that you guys can get an idea of how much of an impact this system has have uh, had on the game. The first item I will showcase is a 3 LP bleeding heart I had made recently. It has T5 elemental dot percentage, T6 elemental damage percentage, and T5 necrotic resistance. Bleeding Heart was one of those items before patch 8.4, which was mandatory for a large majority of builds, but was always a pain to include. But now that we can get versions of it like this, it doesn't even feel bad to use. If anything, it just feels rewarding. Being able to slap this on, any Frostmite, Electrify, Ignite, or any Ellie Dot skill like Judgment or Holy Trail, it means that the low ceiling of builds that were not quite good enough before, like Ignite Sorcerer, like I proved in one of my recent uploads, it gives all these builds that were previously a terrible a new breath of fresh air. The second item I will showcase is my 3 LP Soulfire. It has T3 dot percentage, T5 Ellie dot percentage, and T5 elemental resistance. Soulfire already was a strong item before the LP system. It was just tied to one of the worst mechanics, Ignite. But being able to slap on even more increased damage and resistance on an already good item, actually build enabling sometimes. One of the biggest issues with Ignite was all of your Ignite chance comes from uniques that conflict with all the good LE dot percentage slots for rares, so being able to have the best of both worlds makes this item go from good to insane. The third showcase is my Saurion step with T5 movement speed on them. In the past, a lot of builds were forced to use unique boots to function, and they also couldn't freely run silver rings most of the time. But being able to have double movement speed boots like this, 51% to be exact, it means that we have all the mobility we would ever need to push monoliths faster than we ever have before. This combined with pairs of boots that have low MS bases like Morning Frosts or Dark Strides, this can get really crazy really quickly. The last legendary I'm going to showcase here is an Emboreal Circuit with T6 minion damage, T5 minion health, and T5 necrotic resistance. This is the perfect example of how you can make an insane item that serves multiple builds. 
This ring could be used on almost any minion build, and it's just a minion ring with 12% extra movement speed on it. Minion builds are notoriously slow, so having extra mobility like this can lead to builds that move much faster, dodge attacks faster, and push corruption even faster. This is by far one of the best items in my inventory currently. As you can tell, the legendary system can fill a lot of niches, fix problems in low performing builds, and push the envelope of damage and efficiency on the best of builds, causing the ceiling to be much higher than before for all of all builds in general. The last thing I will touch upon here is just how fun the mechanic actually is. Ask anyone who has been playing over the last month. We end up playing builds longer and refining them much more than before due to how fun the process actually is. Farming uniques isn't hard and it's also enjoyable. Exalted farming in dungeons is mental right now and boss kills are a dime of dozen when you've pushed high corruption. So not only is the process of making them fun, but also the process of getting the items in the first place is fun as well. EHG really hit it out of the park with this system. I hope after watching this video, it made you hyped enough to go out, farm a few T4 Jurlas, farm a few legendaries, and have some fun in Last Epoch Patch 8.4 Eternal Legends. This has been Dread from Epic Builds, off to create more builds.